Dixon. I'm the Legislative and Political Action Co Coordinator for the Washington Federation of State Employees. And I want to thank you for giving me some time on the agenda today. Uh, pardon my voice. I'd like to tell you that I lost it doing something fun like rooting for the Seahawks, but uh, it probably sounds much worse than it actually feels. Uh, the Great Recession, combined with our state's deeply regressive tax system, has led to difficult times for state residents and difficult decisions for lawmakers in recent years. And although all families have seen the impacts of the recession, it has hit communities of color the hardest. As someone who works with state employees, I know that in addition to a high unemployment, many people of color are struggling to meet their basic needs. Needs like housing, food, and health care. In hard times, it's important for communities to come together around our shared values of justice, equality, and opportunity. And as we enter into the next legislative session facing yet another budget deficit, we want to urge the legislature to think carefully about the budget decisions that they make. Our state budget is a moral document. It reflects our values as a state and as a society. And we've seen what happens when the legislature passes all cuts budgets. In the past few years, the programs and services that keep our families economically stable and healthy have been decimated. And we've seen racial disparities increase in our state. I've seen friends and neighbors forced from their home and forced to uproot their families. And the reality is, without a safety net, communities get left behind. So it's time for wealthy and large corporations to finally pay their fair share to get our economy back on track. Our flawed and unjust tax structure places an additional burden on families of color and low-income families. These families are paying a much higher percentage of their income in state taxes than those at the top of the income scale. And each year, our state loses billions of dollars in tax loopholes for large corporations and special interest groups. The legislature took a step in the right direction last session by passing a bill that narrowed two costly tax breaks one of which was a B&O tax loophole for big out-of-state Wall Street banks. But that's not enough. Our state is going to continuously be facing a revenue shortage unless we work to fix the system. And as we head into the 2013 legislative session, there are two opportunities to do just that. We are urging the legislature to pass capital gains tax and to sunset tax loopholes. These are two bills that were introduced last session that would create a more fair and just tax structure while raising necessary revenue. So we're here today to say that legislators have a choice. They can continue to cut the programs and services that our families rely on and that make Washington strong, or they can raise revenue and restore equality and equity to our system, which would enable the state to maintain critical investments in healthcare, education, and other important programs and services. So I'm here to urge lawmakers and legislators to do right by Washington families and communities of color by raising revenue this legislative session. Thank you.